Today you're going to learn how to dub your videos into multiple languages with 11 Labs just like this. And since we've been uploading to YouTube, desde el 2010 hasta ahora. When creating video content, you're often limited to one language, limiting your reach and leaving millions of potential viewers behind. And subtitles don't always capture the tone and translating content yourself is expensive. And translating hundreds of videos into multiple languages alone feels close to impossible. But with 11 Labs, you can dub your content into 29 languages in just a couple of clicks while keeping your own voice, style, and emotion. And a really cool part is that you can even dub multiple speakers in the same video. And for my YouTube creators out there, you've probably noticed that some of your content now automatically gets dubbed, but you don't always get to choose the languages and it doesn't happen on every single video. So let me show you how to dub your YouTube videos into another language or any other video content for that matter using 11 Labs and then upload those new audio language tracks to YouTube or download the new dubbed video so you can start creating content in multiple languages today. So here I have a YouTube video, which is an interview between Julia and I, where we talk about 11 music. And this was solely recorded in English. And if we take a look at the settings, as you can see, there are no audio tracks on this video for us to change the language and watch it in another language. So if we go to 11 Labs and then we click on dubbing, we're now taken into the dubbing studio. And here what I want to do is simply click on create a new dub. Now here, I'm just going to name the project. So I've named it Julia Interview. And I want to select the source language of the video. So in this video, it was recorded in English. So here we go ahead and select English. And now I want to select the target language and I want to translate this interview into French. So I'm going to go and select French. But if we want to dub it into multiple languages, like I mentioned, we can do so. so let's go ahead and select Spanish and Hindi as well as French. Now what we want to do is go ahead and upload the video. Now I already have the source file on my computer so I'm simply going to drag it and drop it into 11 Labs. But you'll notice there are also other sources that allow us to directly paste an URL and 11 Labs will grab the content and dub it from there. So once my video is uploaded, we have a few different options. First of all, we can create a dubbing project, but you can only do this if you have one language selected as the target language. You'll notice that if I click create dubbing project, we get this message. And this basically just means that we can go into the dubbing project and adjust the dubbing manually afterwards. But the 11 Labs dubbing is very accurate and I rarely find myself wanting to make changes. But if you want to do so, just select one language and then click create dubbing project. And below this, we have the number of speakers. And now here, there are two people in this video. So I want to go ahead and select two speakers. If you're not sure how many people are in the video, you can actually let 11 Labs detect it. However, when there are more than five, six or seven people in the video, it's best to tell 11 Labs exactly how many people there are. And the reason you want to do this is because 11 Labs actually uses voice cloning technology to keep the same voice style and emotion for each individual speaker within the video. Now, if we didn't want voice cloning, we can go ahead and tick this box, which will basically disable voice cloning. However, I want it to sound like the speakers in the video, so I'm going to leave that unticked. And then above, just in case we didn't want to dub the entire video, we can go ahead and put specific time codes in that we would like to dub. However, I want the full three minutes dubbed, so I'm going to leave it at that. And now once I've selected all the settings I need to dub my video into another language, I'm just going to click Create Dub. And so as you can see, in under two minutes, I now have the three dub versions of this interview in the three languages that I chose. So let's go ahead and preview the French version. If I open it up, let's just click play. You devez avoir de très bons conseils et astuces sur comment euh, créer l'invite parfaite. Absolutely. Il y a une approche où vous donnez au modèle des instructions très précises. And so as you can see, that's now been dubbed into French. And one of the things I really, really love, if we pay attention to the beginning. Combien de chansons pensez-vous avoir généré? Ouf. As you can see, it includes the ums and ahs and the, the oof that Juliet says right there. And I think that's really important for a good sounding dub. And now I can go ahead and download this and it will be downloaded to my computer. But we've also got the Spanish version. Que sigues volviendo en tus indicaciones. Desde mi perspectiva, el modelo hace un trabajo increíblemente bueno al crear música. Or even the Hindi version. And now once you've downloaded the new dubbed videos, you can either post those as standalone dub videos if you have dedicated channels to other languages, or you can go and extract the audio using an online tool or do this directly within Premiere Pro so you only have the audio file. So let me go ahead and extract the audio from the French version. And the links to everything in this video will be down in the description below. And so now we have the French version. We can go ahead to our YouTube video. And if we click on edit video, we then go to languages. And here we can simply click on add language. And here I just want to find French and I want to add it as a dub. So on dub, I click add, and then I select file, 
and I open up the audio file we've just extracted from the video and I click publish. And on top of this, you can also translate the description and the title yourself. And I recommend doing that with something like ChatGPT. But then we just go ahead and click update. And once the audio is finished processing and it's published, we can go ahead and then click on the video. How many songs do you think you've generated? And if I pause it, we then click on the settings cog in the bottom right. And here, as you can see, we now have audio track available. And so it's currently on English, which is the original. But if I click on it, I can then click on French. And now if you play the video back from the beginning and click play. Combien de chansons pensez-vous avoir généré? Ouf, je dirais dans les centaines. As you can see, we now have our YouTube video dubbed in French. And we can go ahead and repeat this for all the remaining languages that we want to translate our video content into and also for the rest of our content. And that is how to translate and dub your content using Eleven Labs. And to get started, you can click the first link in the description down below. And if you have any questions about translating and dubbing your videos, just ask in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.